Hi, my name is Rosalind Bazell. I'm the creator of Pilet, which is a combination of Pilates, yoga, and ballet. I'm so excited today to have you in my kitchen, and I'm going to show you how to make a very simple pan grill salmon and some sauteed squash. So we'll start by just chopping the squash up very carefully here. I like to make it into sort of small chunks. So they're little bite-sized pieces. Alright, almost done. Okay, let's take all of this over. Bowl. And you'll notice here that I have a salmon that is very, very red. It's almost ruby red. And this is fresh caught out of the ocean. <laughs> It's actually called sockeye salmon, so when you go to the market, make sure you want to look for this ruby red color. You don't want the farm-raised, dyed, that light, light pinkish. Usually they'll have a tag that lets you know exactly what type of salmon it is and where it comes from. This is the one that's going to have the most benefits for your body. It's fresh caught. It's not farm-raised, hormone-free, etc., etc. We want to keep your body and mind nice and healthy and you get the main the main benefits here, of course, being the omega-3 fatty acids. So this is a great way to get those in. And we'll start our burners here. Now for the salmon, I'm going to do it slightly warmer just because, and that's going to be based on your preference. I like my salmon to be just seared a little bit on the outside and just slightly medium on the inside. So if you prefer to have it cooked 100% throughout, and of course you would take your um, heat down a little lower and you would cook it a little bit longer than what I'm demonstrating today. So while those are warming up, I'll just give you a little bit of more information about Pile. I created it out in 2006 based on my background as a dancer and then me as an adult teaching Pilates and yoga classes. I wanted to find a way to really bring the ballet elements and the foundation of my dance background into a gym setting without having the classical music and the toe shoes, tutus, and I mean that stuff is cute but not so much at over 30 maybe? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I, I really wanted to have that in a gym setting where it's really fun, you add some great music, you have a good time, and you get healthy. So we'll start, go ahead and put the vegetables on. And I always like, again, to keep everything simple because you have to remember that the more stuff you add to your food, the more unhealthier you're making it. So I'm keeping it basic. All we're doing is olive oil, salt, and pepper. I really don't need much more than that. I'm going to put a little bit more olive oil in here. Now this is cooking. That looks better. And then for our salmon, really the same thing. Just got a little bit, probably like a teaspoon of olive oil I put on top, and then a little salt and pepper. So we're going to take this and slide it over onto this pan. So when you're thinking about trying to find something fun and unique to do that's a little bit different, that's kind of why I created Pile I mean, who wouldn't want to have the amazing abs of a Pilates Pina, the grace and flow of a ballerina, and the flexibility of a true yogi? I don't know about you, but it sounds pretty good to me, you know? We're going to keep washing our food here. we got the salmon going. It seems to be cooking well. The interesting thing is as it cooks, it actually gets a little bit redder. I love the texture of the ruby red sockeye salmon. It's just so wonderful to taste. It has a nice roundness to it. And you can, when you taste it, you know the difference. 
The first time I had this, interestingly enough, was probably 2002 or 2003. A coworker of mine went on a trip to Alaska and they went fishing. And he came back with a salmon that he actually caught and he cut up pieces of it and gave it to everybody. And it tasted like nothing else I had ever had before. And ever since then, I've been totally addicted. If it's not like this, I don't want to eat it. And I do have to admit, it does cost a little bit more, but I'd rather pay a higher price and be a little bit healthier. Let's go ahead and flip this over. Growing nice and good. We'll continue to saute these wonderful vegetables over here. It's smelling good and looking good. And being healthy, of course. <laughs> so I always try to make new and fun things and I try to use organic vegetables just because the more toxins and chemicals and things that we put in our body every day, the more it affects us. And there's so many different illnesses and sicknesses that they still have no idea how we get them or where they come from. So I figure if I just lessen my exposure just a little bit more, use better and fresher vegetables and foods, hopefully that'll make a bit of a difference in my world. Who knows? So my salmon sounds like it's about ready. Move it over to this plate here. All right. Perfect. Turn this off. And our saute squash. It's looking yummy. Slide that over here. And oh, it just has an amazing aroma. You gotta try this at home. <laughs> Perfect. Just a little bit of lemon juice, just add that for taste onto your salmon. And you are good to go. Delicious meal, right? There you go. We've got our simple grilled salmon and our wonderful saute squash. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you want more information, please visit www.pyoleg.com.